immigration, Australia. I said, check my record, Tim Hall. This young man need his wife. Church, I'm going to tell you, they gave my wife her visa because I wasn't ready to extend her visa in Malaysia. They gave my wife her visa when her Malaysian visa has expired. She's a witness. I was the one, when I came to pick them, that I took them to immigration, paid for overstay, and I took them to, brought them to Malay, Australia. Hallelujah. At the time, Tim Hall called me and said, stop hiding here, mate. <laughs> Go to the north. Go to the north. There are a lot of people. I said, thank you. That's all I've been waiting for. After one year and a half. And the day I told David Hall I'll be leaving, he said, which day? That was on 27th of November, 2011. He said, we are going to raise offering for you. That time, the church is not as big as it is now. And he came up before the church. He said, this man came here to plant churches, but he is ethically clean. Is it Australian or Nigerian English? <laughs> He's ethically, is he a good English? Clean. He has never told any of my members his mission. We've had people that came here to plant church and they broke the churches. They broke our church. But this man has been here with us. He has never one day. I started as the behold. Morning prayer. I come with my wife. Six o'clock. The church opened by seven. The hall. We pray. Ta -ta -ta. We don't look at anybody. He said, when you came, I was afraid you were coming to break my church. But when I found out after one year or two years, nobody knows about your mission. He said, our church is not big. We might not raise any much money. But it, I definitely, something they might get might be around $700. That was what David Hall told me. But if they get $700, I will complete it to 1000 Because you're worthy. I said, David Hall, don't worry. Let's see what God is going to happen. A man's way makes for for him. And he came up and said, we are going to send this boy to the north. To Hallelujah. start. Thank you, Jesus. A church. He said, We want to give him an offer. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, How many people are willing? And when they came out, can you believe how much they raised cash? $2,400. Mm. And that Thank was you, enough for our bond fee <laughs> and two weeks rent. Uh, for, uh, six weeks, uh, six weeks uh, rent, right? Four for bond fee because it was less hallelujah, than 250 Exactly. You. So we we'll move from because we were living at the beach at that time, enjoying, and we don't even know the benefit of <laughs> writing, you know. So we have to look from there to Devron Park. I mean, uh, Devron Park. <laughs> my people, my children were getting sick every day, and I was every day burning. Sickness, God. <laughs> Come on, God. Sickness. I'll tell you the truth. Favor will be sick. Yeah, yeah. Come on, God. Glory to that one. Oh, my what we are doing throughout here because sickness that was the land of sickness that was the house of sickness this is what is happening to some Christians Christians it's not because you are not praying you well but you are the wrong location your position is what is killing you before you kill this neck the other snake will get the hurt <laughs> but when we move to a brand new house the same area that house was was I think it's 150 yeah, you see mold, mold everywhere. Even when you put the condition, it will, instead of air, it will be mold. mold. <laughs> <laughs> I was biting. Favor, come back. Yeah. I will come back for one. Come, no sickness can get you. <laughs> Every day. But when we went to Smithfield, brand new house. How many times? Yeah, we can count him, but we have only three times. But we pray more than six thousand times. <laughs> we have a new one here. Wrong location is the problem. Emergency. <laughs> Emergency. Sometimes what is killing you, you just need to come out of that place and enter the right place. Hallelujah. Any Thank location you. that is going to bring destruction Thank to you. you. God is yeah. relocating you now. Yeah. God is relocating you now. Yeah. To your location of testimony. Yeah. And the girl said, I said, sweetheart, what do you want? You see, how do you handle it when God disappoints you? That topic shook me. You say, Pastor, how do you handle it when God disappoints you? 
Because she was saying the truth. How do you handle it? I say, I wish you listen to my message. And I say, can I can we be friends on Facebook? Glue your face on my Facebook. I'm going to preach a message about that. But I'll give you a simple answer. The simplest answer is because we want to use our time to time God. We want to tell God what to do. We don't want to discover what God has already finished. You want God to do it your own time. You are the one. You sat down. You have. You feel that you have been disappointed because you had something. You concluded that you were faithful. You concluded that your righteousness has come to the highest level. God must answer now because I'm more righteous than Edika. I'm more righteous than Pastor Marietta. I'm more righteous than Glory. Now God must answer it. That's the that's the problem. You don't thank God. Thank you, and another thing you feel, that is why you said, I'm no more going to church. Because you feel that when you did that, God will start crying. <laughs> my daughter, my son. See, that's your problem. This thing doesn't shake God. Because it doesn't have anything to do with God. It has everything to do with his word. Discover his word. Either you follow the word yes. and Hallelujah. live, or you follow or leave the word and die. You see, a lot of people, they judge God. They try to. They say, hey, they tell God, why are you judging us with tsunami? Why are you judging us with overflowing of the river? Me, God, judging you? I'm not judging you. Jesus, okay, why are you judging us? Why did you allow this to happen? Why they, 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 they? Jesus said, me? <laughs> judging you? Go to John chapter 8. Let me show you something. John 8, 47 and 48. <clears throat> Is it John 8? I'm not very sure, but try it. If it's not, try 6. Marine. Yeah. He that is of God heareth God's no, word. No, 47, 48. Try it, 6. six. Chapter 6. 47? Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. he that believeth on me Amen. hath everlasting life. Okay. I am that I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat man. No, 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 it's not. Try twelve. Get it for me, but I know it's verse forty seven and forty eight of any of the book of John. Twelve and forty seven. Try it. And if any man heareth my word. Yeah, that's it. We got a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did he say? <laughs> And if any man hear my word. If you hear my word. Hallelujah. Thank you. Remember they went to God and said, God, why are you judging us? Why are you? And God said, me judging you? They came to Jesus and said, Jesus, you are the one I know. You are the one that came to earth. Why are you judging us? He said, no, go, go, go. See what we judge you, not me. And if any man hear my words and believe not, mm -hmm. I judge him not. I can't judge you. For I came not to judge the and world. And didn't come to judge the world. But to save the world. I came to save the world. Amen. He that rejected me. Church, are you getting it? You see, the world is what we judge you. Now, do you, let me bring it to business idea. Mm. If you are doing a soul trading, you are a soul trader. If anything happens to your company, or maybe your company hurts somebody in the community, government will arrest you and put you in jail. But if your company is not a sole trading, sole trading company is a limited company. If anything, if your company less like takes, you know, like you may say chemical, they were chemical and people died because of the West, the government will not touch you. They will fold the company. They will fold everything. They will not touch you. Do you understand? Because it's, that's the same way with us and God. We are co-laborers. And we came out and we got our constitution for our limited company. And it's called the Bible. If anything happens, you hold the constitution. You don't hold the CEO. Does that make sense? So that's as simple as that. So when people, things happen, tsunami happen, people say, God, you are wicked. God, you are... Why are you talking? It's not in my hand. 
Okay, Jesus, you are the one if it is not God. Jesus said, it's not me, it's the word of God. The word will judge you. Am I making sense? So this was how I explained to this young lady. I said, number one, you use your time to thank God. You are the one that judges yourself that you are righteous. You are more righteous than uh, Brother Lani. <laughs> you are the one, you judge yourself, you do everything. Leave God to judge and tell you when it's time for him. Just keep on waiting. That is why the first attribute of faith is boldness. I cannot be sick. I cannot die. Then the second attribute is what? Patient. When you declare it, leave it for God. Even in the book of First uh, Kings, you know, 18, when Elisha declared it, he waited until God confirmed it. And if God has not read it, Elisha said at my word. He didn't say at God's word. He declared it, I will not die. I will live. Yes. Yes, yeah, chapter 18 verse 1 and 2. And it came to pass after many days mm -hmm. that the word of the Lord came to Elijah uh -huh. in the third year, mm -hmm. saying, Go. No, 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 it's 17. It's read 17 verse 1 and 2. And Elijah the Tishbite, yes. who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, yep. said unto Ahab, uh -huh. As the Lord God of Israel liveth, yes. Before whom I stand. He said, before whom I stand. Look at him. Look at, look at the witness what he's going to say. There shall not be dew nor mm -hmm. rain mm -hmm. these years, but according to my word. He didn't say according to the word of God. Don't you know, read the, don't just read the Bible. He said according to my, in today's religion, people will say, not especially Australians. He's saying his word. Look at him, he's saying his word. He's not saying by according to the word of God. He's saying according to my word. You know, it's just like when you enter into an uh, aeroplane and they say, we are sorry, this aeroplane is going to crash. If you know what to do to save yourself, do it. And you take the microphone and say, don't believe the path, uh, pilot because I am in this aeroplane. No accident, no crash. Therefore, I command you, you aeroplane, fly normal in Jesus' name until we get to our destination. An aeroplane will say, yes, sir. Because of me, Australia will say, no, no, no. Because even when we go to meeting, I meet biggest pastors in Australia. I say, I'm like, yeah. When I start shaking hands with them, how are you, sir? I say, good. And they say, pastor, just say, how are you? I say, awesome. They will remove their hand. <laughs> You can't be awesome. It's only God that is awesome. I say, I'm a God. Small letter G. Amen. I'm a God. That was what Elijah did here. He said, according, he said, King, according to my word, I'm like the Peter of our generation that my shadow, because it's no more me that lives, but Christ that lives in me. Whatever I say will happen because I'm dead. I would say Peter never prayed any prayer, but as he was passing through the street, his shadow began to heal people. Because it wasn't him that lived. It was Christ living in him. Resurrected Christ, not the Christ that have not been crucified. The resurrected is three times more powerful than the one that walked upon the earth. When he was on the earth, John could comfortably lie at his chest. But when he came back as a resurrected Christ, John, every time he him, falls on the floor. Jesus will say, stand up. Church, what I'm trying to say within these 30 minutes, I'm trying to make a point. Somebody came to me and said, how do you handle it when God disappoints you? And I told the person, one, because you use your time to time God. Two, marry the word. You have to know the word and be patient. Don't be the judge of your life, every situation. Even when you commission, don't be your judge. Leave it with God. Do your part. Lord, I'm sorry. I know I've sinned against you. Don't allow anybody to judge you. Some people came to Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And they started telling him, this, that, they do, that, 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 this, that, that. Say, shut up. They come and go and sit down. 
He said, even me, I can't judge myself. The only person that has the right to judge me is God. Mm. And on the last day, we'll know whether you, what you're saying is true or what I'm saying. Because even you and me, we don't know the truth. Let's wait until the last day. Let's finish the work first. I don't know whether I'm building somebody's faith here. I don't know whether I'm making some sense. Or am I just asking, a, 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 acting African drama? <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that lady said yes. I said, but this is not, is not a perfect answer. But the first two I gave you is the perfect answer. But this is not a perfect answer. I said, the, another third one, which is not perfect, is that we, the pastors, are the one doing it. I said, we the pastors. I gave an example, a situation whereby a pastor was uh, trying to help a lady. She's from another religion, Hindu. And as the pastor was talking to the girl, the girl's mind was going to another place. I love this man. I just want to, you know, want to have fun, you know. <clears throat> And the girl being in a society where you're supposed to be outspoken, they call it human right. <laughs> and the girl said, I know what you're saying is true, but I want to have fun with you. And that pastor immediately realized that this girl has no knowledge of what she's doing. And found out that if she doesn't deliver the lady from this kind of mindset, it might destroy her. Instead of the pastor now taking her to her farm, the pastor called her and said, You don't understand. You are blind. You need to see. Life doesn't consist of all those things. And I asked the lady, how many pastors do you think will do this? We understand that this girl is lost. But other ones will take advantage of her. And God is watching. And God knows. Now, why some of the pastors will mess up with that girl is because those pastors don't even know anything. They don't know the consequences of what they are doing. They are not seeing beyond. I said to the girl, include me as those wicked pastors until the last day. But I want to encourage you, take the first two and forget them because it's, not, it's inconsequential. Forget about the third one. But the first two are the two. Because I don't want you to go looking at But the truth is that, because why are we enjoying salvation from God to Jesus? Holy Ghost, pastors. It came up. It didn't come from the congregation. But if we are doing our job, you won't be, you wouldn't have told me that you don't go to church any longer. That pastor, when you were under the church, you left. That pastor was supposed to teach you the word of God, was supposed to believe Amen. in the word of God, was Amen. supposed to be an epitome Amen. of the person of Jesus. Epitome. English, Nigerian English, epitome. Australian English, epitome. <laughs> Are you getting it? So that was how I was able, and that girl's face, she was liberated. He said, since I started seeing pastor, you are the only one that have made me regret what I did. Not to be going to church. You are the only pastor that have told me something that made me to regret ever stopping going to church. I said, but that's my business. My business is not to make that. I'm going to make good money this Saturday, but it's not my first thing. <laughs> it's to change life. No, I'm talking about the attribute of Jephthah. Do you want to know other people that were disappointed by God? It's not only this lady. Can I tell you another thing? Soon Australia is going to disappoint you. How will you handle it? Faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Australia would say, forget it. It's man-made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's only things that God did that abides forever. Anything man-made. Yes. It wasn't this girl only that has been disappointed by God. 
Read Jeremiah. Give me Jeremiah fast. We are going to close. Yeah. Two more scriptures. Then we go and I get there. We go. Two more scriptures. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 7 to 9. If you know the person I'm talking about, Jeremiah, if you know Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, if you know what this man achieved in the kingdom of God, if you know the person I'm talking about, at the time, God said, I'm not going to bless this nation. Jeremiah started praying, God, you will bless them. God, you will bless them. And God has to leave his throne and come down to Jeremiah and say, Jeremiah, stop praying for this people. Please. God started begging Jeremiah. Which meant if Jeremiah had insisted that God, you must bless this nation, yeah. God would have blessed it. Because the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, the law of God is good. This law, if you know how to use it. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jeremiah was using the word of God. Why did you think that Hezekiah lived another 15 years? The Bible says he turned and used the word of God. He said, he, the Bible says, who is he that will harm him if you be a doer of that which is good? Ezekiel said, God, I've been good. And God said, Isaiah, come on, go back. He has caught me with the word of God. He has caught me. Go back. Tell him I'll give him 15 more years. Hallelujah. Let him put his place in order. Hallelujah. Are you there, Jeremiah? 20. <coughs> 7 to 9. Read fast. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Thou hast deceived me. You have deceived me. Yes. And I was deceived. You see now? Who did that? Jeremiah was dis disappointed. God disappointed him. God deceived him. His own is not even disappointed, deceived. God said, uh, look at an example of what God did to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I'm going to put uh, Dunlop here. Dunlop, good Dunlop for you, the best Dunlop in Australia. So just fall from there to the ground. And when Jeremiah wanted to fall, that God removed it. <laughs> <laughs> 